guys, welcome to the Social Proof system. I'm Bill, and I'm going to walk you through setting up your first Social Proof notification with ProofSource. So here's what we're going to cover. We're going to start by installing ProofSource on our website and making sure that it can track sales, conversions, and anything else we want to display as a notification. Then we're going to select the type of notification that best matches our use case, whether you have a new website or an existing one or an e-commerce store, there's always something there for you. Then we're going to decide what to track. This can be things like conversions, purchases, people viewing specific pages or products. After we select that, we're going to, of course, customize the notification, and then we're going to launch our first notification. So if you haven't already signed up for ProofSource, you can go to ProofSource.com and click the Get Started for Free button. ProofSource is free forever on our free plan, so you can test it out, see if it works for you, and then you can also upgrade if you want. Now, once you fill out the form to sign up for ProofSource, you're going to have to activate your account. You're going to receive an email that you can confirm your address on. And once you do that, the fun part begins. So the next step is installing ProofSource on our website. So let's go through our options and how we can actually achieve that. So once you have verified your email address, you're going to see a screen like this that you know prompts you to select a way to install ProofSource on your website. Now, if you're on a platform like Shopify or WooCommerce, Magento, or any other popular e-commerce or CMS platform, there's plugins and apps that you can use to easily install ProofSource on your website, no code or anything else required. If you don't see your website here, that's okay because we have the ability to install ProofSource via JavaScript code or the Google Tag Manager. I have actually created a landing page using Card, and I'm gonna use the JavaScript, op JavaScript option to actually install proof source to my landing page. So once you let select this, you're gonna click here to copy your code and then you wanna apply the code to your website. Now you can either send the code to your developer or you can do it yourself. I'm gonna select the first option, go to my card website and then use this code here, add the proof source code to my website, then hit publish. And once the code is there, I need to verify that it has actually been correctly implemented. So I have to visit my website. And if everything goes well, on the bottom left of the screen, you're going to see a box like this, which says proof source is now installed on your website. And there's also a button you can click here that says create your first notification. If you don't see that, fear not, just go to an incognito tab and then try loading your website again. A caching issue on your server on the website might delay the verification from happening, but it's happened in any case. And of course, you can always contact support if you have any issues. So once this happens, you're going to see a screen like this one, and it's going to be time to set up our first social proof notification. So let's click the button and let's do this. Now, there's many different types of notifications that you can use, as you can see here. And of course, the most popular one is the stream notification. If you have an e-commerce store or any store that a conversion takes place, this is a really good option for you, especially if you have an existing number of people actually buying because you can include things like Shopify or WooCommerce or Wix purchases taking place and you can very easily select that and go live with your notification. You can even include form submissions, so people filling out event registration forms or landing page forms or anything else. And you have the ability as well to send custom events via webhook to ProofSource, and then you can display these events as a notification. Now, another type of notification that's actually really interesting is the social counter. What it allows you to do is enter your social media handles, and you can showcase the number of likes or followers you have across social media, especially on a place like your website's homepage, which instantly helps build trust with your users. Now, besides these two, we also have the reviews which allow you to showcase reviews that you have already collected on platforms like Google Reviews, Facebook, Trustpilot, or even Captera. And the good thing about this one is you can actually showcase the reviews on your website, on your product page specifically. So this tells users that you know this product is actually something that you can trust. And of course, you don't have to worry because we only showcase the positive reviews, which is like four or five stars. Now we also have informational types of notifications. These are my favorite ones to display messages like free shipping or a coupon code or a discount that might be taking place, a Christmas promotion, celebration, or anything else that actually prompts users to click through and make a purchase. 
And of course, we always have the counter. So what the counter does is it collects a number, a large number of people taking a specific action. This can be, you know, X number of people visiting the website in the last 30 days or seven days or week or so. And you also have the combo notification, which, you know, allows you to show a large number of visitors who made a specific action or specific types of actions within the last 24 hours, seven or 30 days. Now I'm going to select the counter notification and I'm going to show you how to actually set up your first notification live. Now, the next step is deciding what to track. And you always have the ability to track the page visits. This can be, you know, people visiting a specific page on your website. This is the one I'm going to go for. And, you know, it's pretty simple setup. You simply select the page that you want browsers to track. It should be on the drop down menu here. here so you can select it. You can, of course, always copy and paste it from your website. And then the next thing is hitting next. Now you can also have tracking of conversions or live visitors on your website. You can track things like form submissions or as we mentioned, custom events that you send on webhooks. If you have a form on your website, this should also work on its own. Proofsource has the ability to track most of the forms that are out there. So chances are, and you can see this from your feed, that if you have any forms, Proofsource can track that and you can showcase it as a social proof factor. And of course, you always have the ability to showcase live visitors on your page. This usually works if you have a large number of visitors on your website. And of course, you know, you can, you don't need to implement anything else here. You can go ahead and select the next step. Now I'm going to go with page visits. I'm going to select my one and only landing page page, and I'm going to hit next. Now, the next thing we need to do is decide where to display and how to display our notification. So you have the ability to display it on either specific pages or even your entire website if you want. I'm going to go with this one since I only have a one page website. You can, of course, exclude proof source from specific pages. This can be things like thank you pages or your dashboard or anywhere that it doesn't actually make sense to have any social proof or sales oriented messaging. And once you've done this, you can hit next. And then it comes the time to customize the messaging that's on our social proof notification. So you can see a preview, a preview of the notification here and any changes you make here are actually gonna show up here. So I'm gonna type in the text. So 50 marketers visited the free course. And then besides the text, which you also have the ability to style using Markdown, you can make it bold, you can make it underline or any changes like that. You also have the ability to choose a custom icon for your notification. This is, I would usually recommend and something I would usually do. So in order to do that, just hit the link here to open up our support page with instructions. And what you want to do is you can, of course, always use animated GIFs. Another option is to use the Icons 8 library, which I really like. So Icons 8 is a library of illustrations and icons you can use. And I'm going to type in something like marketer and look for icons. Okay. And you know, this one seems like a fun one. Mm -hmm. So you select the icon that you want and then you hit embed HTML. And then what you want to do is copy the URL and the code here, and then go back and paste it on the box. Now you also need to remove anything other than the URL itself. So it should have an extension of .png. And you can see here that it has already updated the notification and my, my little monster and the notification is ready. Now let's move on to the next step. Here we can customize our notification even further. So we can select which part of the page we wanna show it to. Usually it's the bottom left. And of course we have the ability to hide it on mobile screens or even place it at the top of the screen on mobile. So on mobile, it usually displays at the bottom of the screen, you know, right where the user is able to tap the notification if it's clickable and go to any landing pages or sales pages that we might have set up. Now, besides that, I wanna change the colors of my notification, make sure that it matches my little monster there. So, okay, let's select something bold here. And then let's also change the background. Perfect. Now that my notification looks good, I can select if I can allow users to close the notification or not. I usually leave this off because you also have the ability to hide the notification after a specific amount of time, which is usually the best case. And you can also make your notification clickable, meaning that people who tap or click on it 
can actually go to a specific URL that you set up. And you can, of course, either select the new link once the user taps the notification to open in a new tab or automatically add UTM parameters and, of course, add the call to action. So this is really interesting. It allows you to add you know, a little link there saying click here, which makes users you know, even more eager to click through. Now, we can also edit the rules, what kind of events we want to show. Since this is a new landing page that I have set up, I want to show events from all time. It doesn't make sense to show what happened yesterday or last week, but you also have the ability to do that and customize you know, the type of events that show up on your social proof notification. You can, for example, hide the exact time that passed if that's sensitive data and you can ignore events that are older than let's say a month, if it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna go ahead and select events from all time. As I said, since this is my first landing page and there is no actual traffic there yet. And of course I can show the notification to new users, all users or even returning users. And you can segment your users this way. And for example, you can showcase one notification to new users Maybe it's a promo code or a discount and to returning users, you might show them another notification like a review or something like that. And you can select to show it only once per session. This makes sure that you don't spam your users. And if, of course, you also have the ability to have a minimum number of events to display. This means that, for example, if I have set up a notification like that, it's not going to ever say zero marketers ever visited the course page. I'm going to leave this to two. So the minimum number I'm going to see here is two marketers visited the free course page. If the number is lower than that, the notification is not going to show at all until I have reached this threshold of the number two here, at which point the notification is going to start displaying. And of course, here you have the ability to hide the notification after a specific amount of time. So I'm going to display the notification for eight seconds. And you also have the ability to hide the exact number of events. Maybe you don't want to showcase your exact traffic on your website if you have a large website or you know uh, on a specific threshold of time. I'm gonna hit next, and then you know nothing else left than setting up a name for a notification. Make sure it's descriptive, and then hit launch. So now our notification should be live on our website. As you can see here, this notification was not shown in the last 24 hours. This makes perfect sense since this is a new landing page and nobody you know knows about it. So let's go to our landing page and hit refresh. And as you can see, my notification is now showing up. Of course, it will go away after a few seconds. So if your notification is not showing up and you have set up the page views tracking and you have very few page views, you can go ahead on an incognito tab and actually visit your website and hit refresh a few times. And this should be the trick for you. So that's it for today. If you have any questions or anything you want to discuss or you know need help with your implementation, feel free to hit us up either on the intercom on our website or just hit us an email. We're always here and happy to help. Hope you have great success with your social proof notifications. Have a great day and speak soon. Bye-bye.